This is lesson 1.7, providing peer feedback. So what is feedback? It happens when we evaluate information about the result of a process or activity. The purpose of feedback is to improve performance and has, should be goal referenced, tangible and transparent when you provide feedback, actionable, user friendly. We're going to look at some instances of correct feedback and what is not effective. So what is the goal example? The goal is to fully dimension a part using a multi-view drawing so that the part can be manufactured from the drawing alone. We're going to learn a lot about multi-view drawings coming up here shortly in this class. Did the performer achieve the goal? So this is a not effective um, form of feedback, poor attempt. Effective would be to say your dimension drawing does not provide sufficient information for a manufacturer to produce the part. Should be tangible and transparent. So the first three statements are not effective. A manufacturer would discard this drawing incomplete or confused. Effective would be asking a question like how deep is the hole? How wide is the slot? You need this information to build the part. Actionable. Not effective is just saying try again. Effective, always review your drawing to make sure you have included all necessary dimensions. Ask yourself if there is enough information on the drawing to build the part. So that would be an effective, correct way to provide feedback. Is it user friendly? So the effective, I'm gonna go over the effective at the very bottom first, provide the hole depth and the slot width using the dimensioning guidelines. And we're gonna talk about what the rules are, or guidelines are to dimensioning in this class. Not effective, alternatively, you could use chain dimensioning instead of datum dimensioning, depending on the need for dimensioning precision. For instance, if the distance between the center of the hole and the edge of the slot is important, it would be advisable to use chain dimensioning to provide a dimension from the center that's, um, very long and I don't even want to read the rest. So that's why it's not effective. Good example of that. And here's the feedback loop. So this process in a diagram form where we continually do that action, feedback and modification over and over and over again till we perfect our, our design.